Hey everybody, it's John Stout at Walnut Ridge. You get stuck with me again and it's Feature Friday. Can't think of a better unit to feature than the Hideout 272. This really isn't an entry level trailer because of all the things that it includes, but it's 27 foot. You've got a nice big pass through storage up front so you don't have to leave even any of your camping goodies at home. As you'll notice, it has the LGI solid step which everybody wants these days, a lot better than the old trailer steps, if you will. And it's got the LED light bar across the top. It is electric awning, and it does have outside speakers. So beautiful day, sit outside under the awning and listen to your favorite music. Why don't we go inside and take a look at everything else it has to offer. When you first walk in, you can see this has a full slide out. It does have a sofa that does flip. It's a jackknife sofa that will turn into a bed. You have a nice booth here. That's a 36 inch deep booth and that will turn into a bed. And then right across from me, this has a huge pantry. And as you'll know, it's lighted. If you don't need all this pantry space, you can also use it for hanging clothes as well. Full refrigerator freezer. I know everything, everybody has them, but this is a Norcold, has the adjustable thermostat. So if your pop's not cold enough, you can set the thermostat up yourself. Has all the Furion appliances, uh, the nice three burner range with the backsplash. You do have an oven for those biscuits and gravy if you want to. Full sink, and it is the double sink. So you have the larger washing side and then the rinsing side. This is another nice thing that Keystone does with the hideout. You'll notice all your cabinetry is backlit. You don't have to have this on all the time. You can turn this off if you choose to, or use it as a night light if you want to. But another thing, and again, this is why it isn't an entry level trailer. You have AM FM stereo, it's Bluetooth compatible, but as you can see right underneath has a full fireplace. On a chilly morning, don't want to use your LP, don't want to use your furnace, turn this on, and you have 5,000 BTUs of heat, it'll actually, actually take the whole chill out of the trailer. And then they give you a backer here so you can choose whatever size TV you wish to put in. All you have to do is mount your mounting arm and you're good to go. The bedroom is a double door entry and it's not curtains, it's hardwood doors. Plenty of storage in the bedroom. You even have a place up here for books, sweaters, whatever else you want to use it for. And then here's another nice, neat thing. No more dirty clothes in the trailer. You actually have a laundry chute. Put your laundry basket in the pass-through, toss your dirty clothes in, and you're done. And, of course, storage under the bed as well. As we move to the rear, this is the nice thing about this floor plan. It sleeps a lot. This has the big, oversized double bunks and those will actually sleep adults, let alone kids. But you'll notice every bunk has a 110 outlet for the phone chargers, the Kindles, whatever else you want to use it for. And it does have the built-in ladder, so easy access for the little ones. And then right behind me here, you have full bath with medicine cabinet, storage under the sink. And this sounds like a small thing, but it is a porcelain toilet, just like you have at home. So it's easy to clean, won't accept stains, won't accept odors. Obviously it has all the fund fundamental stuff, like you have the furnace, you have the ducted air, but don't forget one thing that Hideout owns, this also has a central vacuum cleaner. No longer do you have to take your rechargeable vac along at all, just plug, it has all the tools, plug your hose in, you can have vacuum out the whole trailer and then typical man thinking, pull your truck up outside and vacuum it out as well. We'd love to see you have you come out and take a look at the 272. Thank you for your time and have a great day.